U.S. President Joe Biden has spoken out for inclusiveness in the military on the occasion of International Women's Day, flanked by two female generals nominated for four-star commands. Biden was joined by Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin at the White House, where they heralded the qualification of Air Force General Jacqueline Van Overst and Army Lieutenant General Laura Richardson. Biden has nominated both for promotions, reportedly held back by Pentagon officials who the New York Times reported were afraid former President Donald Trump would veto them because they are women. General Van Ovost and Lieutenant General Richardson have been tested under the most difficult circumstances, and they are proven leaders. The President and I have full confidence in them to address the complex threats we face, to help lead our troops, and to keep our nation safe. As it is International Women's Day, I should also mention that General Van Ovost and Lieutenant General Richardson are but two of the many, many women who have defended our nation throughout our history. During the American Revolution, women rode horseback through enemy territory to transport sensitive military information. Each of these women have led careers demonstrating incomparable skill, integrity, and duty to country. And at, and at every step, they've also helped push open the doors of opportunity to women in our military. Blazing the trail a little wider, a little brighter, for all proud women following in their path and looking to their example. And I wanted to shine the light on these accomplishments for those women today, because General Van Ovost a, uh, is uh, reiterated in an interview this last week, and I'm the second person to say this, it's hard to be what you can't see. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.